What's up, guys? It's your boy Spider Productions here. Today we are here with the second episode of season two of Euphoria. This is titled Out of Touch. This episode seems to be obviously the next episode. <laughs> Last episode was absolutely crazy, guys. Uh, it was an hour and one minute, so I'm not surprised that it was insane. I apologize if you hear my dog in the background, but um, yeah, it was it was crazy. It was insane. It's a lot going on. We basically got the whole backstory to our boy Fez and his little brother um, basically understood. I think that was the only character we didn't really get a backstory for last season. So we finally got the backstory on him. His grandma was old as hell. She was, she was savage, bro, <laughs> savage. And um, we can see why his grandma was sick and obviously old last season and why he was taking care of her um, or how it got to that point. And um, yeah, uh, we also saw that apparently Drool's or no, Rue was at a, hollow, uh, a New Year's Eve party and Jules was there randomly and everybody from season one was there and uh, Nate was hooking up with Cassie and that was interesting. And Cassie had to hide from uh, Maddie so that she wouldn't get up, so she wouldn't be caught messing with her ex. Um, yeah, it was not going on and Fez beat the crap out of Nate last episode and based on the promo he was sent to the hospital and he beat the hell up so uh it's a lot that happened last episode and and then uh Rue and Jules I assume are dating again or dating <laughs> so they're together I guess so we're gonna see how that's going so let's get into this new episode let's check it out so see if there's any premieres or promos that could Come on, man. All right, passing the episode Sunday thing. Starting now. The following episode contains violence, nudity, and sexual content. This may be disturbing to viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Last episode definitely <laughs> needs viewer discretion. Jesus. You beat the crap out of him, bro. Yeah, they got back together. That was the only good thing that happened last episode. It's kind of ironic that we're about to watch a show about Zendaya and have a Zendaya figure. Or... Jesus. Dude, she'd be dead. The Cassie? That's weird. Damn. Oh, yeah, you get big ass dude. <laughs> Damn. 
Why is he awake during all that? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> On a bear, though? A bear? Visuals are nice, though. I'll give you that. If you're already messed up, you will possibly mess your kid up. It happens. It travels. <laughs> Bro. Oh, okay, okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> My God. that at all. PlayStation 4. Didn't get the PS5 yet. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most people didn't. I was lucky. I had to wait until last year to get it. Jesus Christ! All this at once. That's a lot to visualize while you're about to die, bro. Man, <laughs> it's a lot to visualize when you're about to die.
<laughs> okay. Of course you did. <laughs> Respect to that. Okay, so, so, Ru, you completely fucked this all up then. <laughs> so you're telling me that you met this guy on New Year's, you then continued to hang out with him after New Year's, especially when you just got into a relationship with Jules. You're an idiot. <laughs> that was so stupid. Why would you get into, why would you continue to hang out with a guy that could cause your relationship some issues? Fucked it up. I'm still on that Rue thing, bro. Like, you really... Like, Rue, are you serious, bro? Like, you really... You met the guy on New Year's. Like, you met the guy on New Year's. You continued to hang out with him after you got into a relationship, and now the dude is talking to you because he didn't even know that you're in a relationship. You're an idiot. Why would you do that? That's so stupid. Any guy with half a brain know that that's dumb as hell to do that. <laughs> Come on, man, it's stupid. Use your female intuition. Come on, man. Does she have a bump on her forehead? What happened to her face? Y'all are not together, though. And his face is half smashed in. Do you really text for that? Yeah, bro. Jesus. Go take a shower. <laughs> you have blood all over your damn legs.
Hát a Use Map Lottery igen tudom. Oh, just babysitting. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Why are you trying to donate your eggs? Trying out her mom's clothes. That's kind of petty. Get down. Get down. Get down. Thank you. I will tend to you in a second. Bro, you are so petty. Those clothes don't even fit you, bruh. What's up, y'all? Had to tend to the dog. So I am currently at 1508. We are starting in three, two, one, and go. But yeah, she's petty because she's wearing somebody else's clothes. So. Petty as hell. I've never been so petty to try on someone else's clothes at some rich, fancy person's house. Or you better take them shits off. Better make it fast. Look an idiot. Girl. You better hurry, girl. Is that? Is that Dove from Titans? She's also in Detroit Become Human. Damn. That is, that is her, bro. I think that's, what's her name from? That's Dove from Titans, bro. I swear to you. I swear to you, that's Dove from Titans, bro. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that is Dove from Titans, bro. Wow. She's in this. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous, bro. Kind of sucks she loved Titans for real. Don't she look bad? Yeah, she is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting jealous because she's actually in a nice relationship. Go find you a nice man. I'm sure you can pick up someone. Um, is this girl dreaming? Um, um, what the hell? What 
ップあ What the? サインブロー Why is that all in my face, bro? So I assume she's fantasizing about having sex with a caveman. Yeah, I'm gonna just say it. If any of y'all are in high school, do not date in high school. You will not get the proper relationship you want, so trust me. Is she lit, bro? Are you seriously on the phone with Nate right now? <laughs> These are long ones. Actually, does that? She's a freak, girl. If you don't calm your ass down, you're not looking conspicuous at all. You want her to beat you up? I mean, honestly, this is. I'm gonna be personally. I I think she kind of deserved it because she did because she left her on the train. So she kind of deserves it. To be honest, it's kind of messed up, but she kind of deserves it. So whatever. What? <laughs> She was honest and told her about that. Not like most relationships where they just don't tell you at all. And they just expect you to know. It's not his fault he didn't even know. <laughs> don't blame him. <laughs> like, don't even blame him. Like, he didn't even know. <laughs> that just people that song the same. Oh. oh 
shit. Fuck. Which is... Why do you have this girl chilling at your place? She pushed Bro You better hurry up, bro You better hurry So you What? Mean things to the point where you have to push my mans off the balcony. Carried Nate to the car and didn't see who assaulted him. It's a bit drastic, bruh. They get that text history you done, bruh. Yeah, the text history is over. That's why he told you not to put it in writing, you dummy. told damn it yeah cuz her and Fez damn so you ratted out my man Fez damn it
Like that's when she went to the rehab place. Music is this Jesus? <laughs> this is nothing but non screaming in my ear. Okay, bro, that's a bit much. What are you doing? going to his place while you're in a relationship rude you are a fucking idiot what are you doing sense but okay Crazy ass tats you got on my boy. I didn't realize the X's on his damn eyes.
Yeah, I definitely see it. She's gonna fall for this guy, and then she's gonna be torn between two people. That's helpful. Pro, he's cute. Okay, that's basic. Fancy, fun, loves me. So all the good stuff. So what's the con? It's you. Yep. Who the hell is that? Who? Who? Who the hell is that? Beautiful people have mental problems. Some people. Did she, did she really just say society has That's a bit much. Only I can fit in my bathtub. I can't even fit in my bathtub anymore. That's why I don't use it. I just stand there in the shower. Like, a somewhat normal human being. I say our call out to bug me in it was just as Maddie. That's not strange at all.
Where the hell is she? You're that, you're that high that you can't fucking take the stairs? Okay. Oh, it's <laughs> That guy again. I, I just realized he was on Lucifer. He was that pastor that died in season one. Which kind of sucks because he died in that show. And he was awesome. Your sister? She's almost the same age as you, bruh. <laughs> Ain't your mama, I'll tell you that. That's your damn sister. Ain't no way. been bowling in a minute bro i need to go do bowling again she's hanging out with maddie what okay and my dude is just sitting there basically fourth wheeling Um, bro, why the hell are you in an abandoned town area where they're building houses at? about that you could have done that outside of her house Again, why did you take why did you take her all the way out here? You couldn't have just done that at her place? Is, is she going to see Fez? Dang, she looked good! Trying to <laughs> mess with this. 
Of course. She get all jealous because of that girl. Girl. This is such petty teenage stuff. Like, I didn't, like... No way, bro. If his dad shoots Fez, I will be very upset. I do like Fez, actually. Cassie, bro, what the hell are you doing? doing this why 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 are we doing this you don't what this is so beyond stupid you're telling me one minute he's saying no we can't do this we can't we can't do this and, and then he's doing this are you serious this is a fucking joke. Are you kidding me? Are you, are, are you kidding me right now? Fez gets got, we gonna have a problem. If Fez gets got, bro, I will not be okay. If Fez gets got, we gonna have a problem. Thank you. 
I am not okay. Relationship that's fucked up? I guess so. That's true. I need a nice relationship. I ain't got time for the. I ain't got time for this dark, depressing bullshit. I've been through those. It's not fun, bro. Did he put his bike in the back of his pickup truck? That'd be nice if he did. I mean, that is true. <laughs> he petty, bro. He a petty ass dude, bro. Does my man have a shotgun? Way to be precautious. Or cautious, I mean to say. for five minutes. Nope. Probably don't want that. Yup. Especially because she... Because she was messing with him too last season. All the girls messing with Nate. What? I just realized something. You telling me Nate, who is a very troubled, messed up, toxic person, managed to get with three of the female main characters in two seasons. That should tell you something. I'ma just say that. I'ma leave it at that. That should tell you something. It should tell you something. I'ma leave it at that. I'ma shut up. So petty, bro. Yes. That's a pretty non-descriptive answer. <laughs> He's so petty, bro. He's petty as hell. She does look very messed up, though. <laughs> she's, she's funny, bro. Are you 
better have that shotgun on you, bro. Have the Glock now. You got the Glock? Bro, get the shotgun. Two piece, no biscuit. Over with. I don't get done violence. I just, I don't want Fest to die. He got Eminem pajamas on. Girl. His windows closed. Do not have your windows open. Thank you. Close them. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah, I forgot he found out about that. Now you got your son in this predicament, bro. taken by Maddie, as far as I, Maddie has it, that's the video, damn, that was a crazy episode, but that is to be expected with this show, <laughs> I had a lot to say in this episode, I'm not gonna lie, this, this episode, last episode I was just speechless the whole way through, this episode just was good and pissed me off at multiple points in this episode. Like, I know teenagers are complicated. I used to be one. I'm only 20, so it wasn't that long ago for me. But my life was not this complicated, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Did I have my moments of complications? Yes. But it wasn't to this extent. <laughs> I mean, that's why, it's good. that's why it's on TV. It's good television. But I'm sure people actually go through this. And it's just like, I can't imagine being this intertwined and complicated with relationships like that. Man, I had a lot of words to say this episode <laughs> than last episode. I didn't want to leave y'all with my speechless self that I was last episode. Because last episode, it was just it just caught me off guard because how long it was. And it was just so much going on that I really couldn't speak on it. I only spoke on it in the moment. But this episode, I talked a lot more than I did. Because most of these characters did stupid stuff. Some of this stuff was so dumb. All right, I'm going to wait until the promo. Uh, I'm just I just let it play through. I'm waiting for the promo to come up. I believe that is starting as soon as this HBO Max thing goes away. Starting on Tesla Love. Um, Tub Taxi Courier. Courier Resources. Uh, starting now.
So, based on that promo, it looks like everybody is getting into some beef. I'm gonna just rewatch the promo real quick. I'm trying to see all these scenes that I didn't see. Starting. No. So, wrestling matches, this unknown character that I don't know. Never seen him before. Never seen these girls either. So after the sex they had this episode, he's keeping his distance from her, from Maddie, or from Cassie. Uh, she's talking to that guy. Uh, the guy doesn't really like her. Who's on drugs and not really getting good at hiding it and having strange visions. Cassie and Nate were doing stuff. Uh, apparently the little kid brother beat up the dad man all right guys that was a lot going on I'll tell you that Elliot was the character's name but uh interesting all right that was episode two of season two of Euphoria. That was a lot going on. <laughs> Not as much as last episode, obviously, because last episode was an hour long. But a lot going on. Look at that. A lot going on. So, I will say, like I said, I did have a lot to say during this episode. Because there was a lot that these characters were doing that was pissing me off. So... The whole Rue thing really got me, bro, because that was just dumb. So Rue was messing... So Rue met this guy, Elliot, last episode on New Year's, at the New Year's party. Cool. While she was having her little overdose phase. Not good, but sure. Elliot seems like a cool dude. He seems like the typical, stereotypical musician that smokes. Sure. Uh, but it seems like Rue and Elliot might become something, maybe, um, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, it seems like he's gonna be dating her, and, um, maybe, or maybe they're just gonna become a fling and Jules is gonna find out and they might break up at the end of the season, who knows, but, uh, seems like there's some intertwinedness going on, but what really was stupid that Rue was doing was that... You hang out with the dude first, then you meet up with Jules. You and Jules get back together, and I assume females have this intuition where they just choose to ignore it at times, where you have this intuition that tells you something isn't right, or you have this gut feeling that something isn't right, and you act on those intuitions, those feelings, because even guys have it too. It's just not as entwined with us. We tend to find out way too late. but. I would have thought that your intuition would tell you that it was probably wrong to still continue to hang out with the Elliot guy, especially because you just got into, got back into a relationship with Jules, and you continue to hang out with him after the New Year's party, and now Jules is immediately caught on to the fact that she has feelings for this guy, and it's become this whole thing. So there's that. Then Nate's dad found out that um, Fez was the one that beat him up and was going to confront him, but didn't choose violence, thank God, and didn't kill him. But now he finds out from Nate that Jules had uh, told one of her friends, I forgot who it was last season, that about what happened with Nate's dad. And I believe Maddie stole the video that was of his of Nate's dad and Jules. So she has that video on that tape that she took from Nate's book. So she has the tape, and I assume she hasn't seen it, but she has the tape, and um, is now holding on to the evidence of him recording himself messing with other people. So yeah, um, and then um, 
the Nate and Cassie thing is really stupid too. So Nate has this whole like revelation at the beginning of the episode where he like is in love with Cassie. But then he's like, he's he honestly is acting like a female, bro. Like I'm telling you, one minute he's this way and the next minute he's doing something entirely different. Nate is acting like a true female in this one episode alone. At first he gets beat up by Fez and then has this whole revelation of falling in love with Cassie and wants to start a family with her and all this other BS. And then he's telling Cassie, you cannot tell anybody what happened. We have to keep this a secret. We cannot do anything. No one must know, especially Maddie, because then Maddie's going to try to kill you. Especially because Maddie's now having conflicting feelings of getting back with him. And if Maddie finds out they messed around, then yeah, it's going to be some beef. But then he's basically telling Cassie, no, we can't do this. This, is, this was dumb. We messed up. We have to end it. Then they start having sex, which is completely, is he just disregards everything he just said previously. And then in the promo, he's now pushing, he's keeping his distance away from her. So it doesn't make sense. And then it also showed them messing around still. So it doesn't make sense. Like obviously he's pushing her away in person and act like they don't know each other. And then the private, they mess around, but it's stupid. If you told her in private that you, that this was a mistake, but then continue to mess with her clearly because she's hot, it's stupid. Like, you're acting like a female, bro. Like, you need to tighten that shit up, for real. So that was that. And then, um, the whole, uh, what was that other girl's name? The other girl that's dating Ethan. I forgot his name. Let me check the cast list real quick. Kate, Kat. Kate, Kat is dating Ethan. And apparently she has this whole revelation where I guess... Ethan isn't manly enough for her. I assume that's really what the issue is. Because she said he's smart, funny, attractive, and loves me. But I assume either he doesn't want to have sex with you or he's not good at having sex with you. So you're dreaming about having sex with some caveman warrior dude. So I assume, based on what I've heard from females, that he's not manly enough for her. Especially because his body type isn't exactly masculine. I should know, my body type ain't like that. <laughs> so I assume he's not a masculine guy and it's not messing with her. So um, so she's having like this crazy nervous breakdown which she had in this episode. Then, um, what else happened? Maddie was being overly petty, trying out all these women's clothes. She was trying out, she was trying out Dove's clothes from Titans, which was cool to see her in this. But she was trying out all of Dove's clothes, being petty as hell. Um, luckily, she's lucky she ain't caught. And then, um, Fez is keeping an eye on, uh, that girl from last episode, the, the drug, the, the drug addict, the other addict girl. And because she did something stupid, like pushing her damn landlord off the roof, simply because he was being a dick. I don't know how the hell you were able to do that in the first place, but okay. And... Yeah, it was just, this episode was just absolutely crazy. And then the petty pastor from Lucifer being overly petty this episode. But uh, yeah, other than that, it was a great episode, man. It was a good episode, obviously. It just had a lot, it had not as much going on uh, as last episode, because the last episode was like a couple minutes longer. But it was still a lot going on. But yeah, a lot of people were just acting stupid this episode for me. So that's why I had a lot to say. Like, everything was just overwhelming in the first episode. Now it's just all stupid. <laughs> it was still a good episode, though, because the drama was pretty good. Um, but I just felt like it was really dumb how some characters are acting and handling this type of stuff. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That is Euphoria, episode two of season two, Out of Touch. If you guys enjoyed my reactions to this episode, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Hit the subscribe button to be part of the community. Hit bell notifications so you guys know when I show post next. And I shall see you guys in the next reaction. Peace out.